Good afternoon. I'm uh, Dr. David Thompson, the chaplain with St. Lucie County Sheriff's Office, and I'd like you to stand, please, for our call to worship. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. And Jesus said, come unto me, all you who are heavy and burdened down, and I will give you rest. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, comfort the hearts of your children at this most difficult time in their journey, and let the peace of Christ be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Please be seated. Our purpose as we have gathered this afternoon from up and down the Treasure Coast and throughout the state is first and foremost to honor the life and memory of Sergeant Gary Morales, secondly to offer our prayers and support for his wife Holly, his daughters Brooklyn and Jordan, his father and mother William and Candy, and the entire Morales family. And lastly, it's to be aware of whatever personal grief we may be experiencing as a result of Sergeant Gary, Gary Morales' death. I want to read the opening scripture just before uh, our special music, and it's found in the 23rd Psalm. And you have that actually in your bulletin. It said, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures, and he leadeth me beside the still waters, and he restoreth my soul. He leads me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me, and thou preparest the table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. only imagine what it will be like when I walk by your side. I can only imagine what my eyes will see when your face is before me. I can only imagine, yeah. Yeah. Surrounded by your glory, what will my heart feel? Will I dance for you, Jesus, or in all of you be still? Will I stand in your presence, or to my knees will I fall? Will I sing hallelujah? Will I be able to speak it all? I can only imagine. I can only imagine. I can only imagine when that day comes and I find myself standing in the sun. I can only imagine when all I will do is forever, forever worship you. I can only imagine, yeah. I can only imagine. Surrounded by your glory, what will my heart feel? Will I dance for you, Jesus? Or in all of you be still Will I stand in your presence Or to my knees will I fall Will I sing hallelujah Will I be able to speak it all I can only imagine Yeah, I can 
only imagine Surrounded by your glory What will my heart feel? Will I dance for you, Jesus? Or in all of you be still? Will I stand in your presence? Or to my knees will I fall? Will I sing hallelujah? Will I be able to speak it all? I can only imagine. Yeah, I can only imagine. I can only imagine. I can only imagine. I can only imagine when all I will do is forever forever worship you thank you sergeant chris sissio at this time we're going to hear some remarks from our sheriff uh, ken j mascara sheriff at this time if you'll come Thank you, Dave. Mr. and Ms. Morales, Brad, Kenny, Brian, Holly, Brooklyn, and Jordan, and the entire Morales family, on behalf of myself, our Sheriff's Office family, and our community, I extend our deepest sympathies. Even though our sheriff's family has lost Gary, we can't imagine the pain that you're feeling and have felt since Thursday. The sheriff's office and I have received thousands of emails, texts, and phone calls from across our nation, extending sympathy not only to us, but to you, the Morales family. Today in attendance, we have law enforcement officers from far away as Chicago, Illinois, and as far away as Kennebunk, Maine, and as close as Port St. Lucie and Fort Pierce. Sheriffs and government officials have come from all across the state. And with us today is our governor, the Honorable Rick Scott, our Attorney General, the Honorable Pam Bondi. And we are here to pay our respects to Gary. And today was forecasted to be the coldest day in St. Lucie County. But we are warmed by their presence and the comfort they have given us. This community, our brother law enforcement officers, and total strangers near and far have reached out to us. And I just want you to know that. They have comforted us, and I hope you have felt that comfort also. This outpouring of support during times like this is not unique. Matter of fact, 14 years ago yesterday, the St. Lucie County Sheriff's Office tragically lost Master Deputy Steve Roberts. And ironically, one year ago today, the St. Lucie County Friar District tragically lost Lieutenant Mark Morrison. From the bottom of my heart, I want to express my sincere appreciation to all of you who have supported us then and now. We have individually and collectively cried all that we can these past three days. And I want today to be a celebration of Gary's life. And what better way to start by looking up here at this picture and realizing that is the way Gary approached each and every day of his life with that big smile. Gary Morales, 
affectionately called Fu, was born July 13, 1977, in the Bronx, New York. In June of 1995, he graduated from Bellport High School in Brooklyn, New York. He joined the United States Air Force in 1995 and was stationed in San Antonio, Texas. He served in Panama from 1996 to 1998 as a canine handler, and he returned to San Antonio, Texas in that same year and then was honorably discharged in 1999. During his service to our country in the Air Force, he received the Air Force Achievement Medal, Outstanding Unit Award, Good Conduct Medal, National Defense Service Medal, Overseas Long Tour Longevity Service Award, and the Air Force Training Ribbon. Gary moved to St. Lucie County and graduated from the Indian River State College Basic Law Enforcement Class Number 82 on September 13, 2000. He joined the St. Lucie County Sheriff's Office on October 16th that same year. Due to his youthful appearance and excellent investigative skills, in 2001 he posed undercover as a high school student. Not at one, but two area high schools in Operation Safe Kid. His efforts enabled the Sheriff's Office to make 21 arrests on 73 charges ranging from drug violations to the removal of serial numbers from a firearm. Even today, this operation is being talked about in those high schools. And he confided in me that he got an A in algebra, something he did not get when he was in real high school. <laughs> During his time with the Sheriff's Office, he served in uniform patrol, the school resource unit, and the SWAT team, where he was a team leader of the snipers, the special investigative unit, the training unit, and with his recent promotion to sergeant on January 18th, he returned to uniform patrol. Gary earned a reputation for decisive action, dealing with crimes in progress, investigative skills, and compassion for victims of crimes, as letters of commendation in his file would indicate. Members of the public, business owners, and members of Treasure Coast and Florida law enforcement agencies have all commended Gary's professionalism, teamwork, and dedication. One recent letter that I want to share with you came from an 81-year-old lady who had locked her keys and purse in her car. She flagged down a passing sheriff's office vehicle to find out she was lucky enough to have Deputy Morales behind the wheel. She wrote in her letter to me, he was happy to help me and had the biggest smile and big heart. I'm so glad he was there for me. In another letter, a grandfather expressed his profound appreciation for the way Deputy Morales handled a very sensitive matter involving his six-year-old grandson. The letter states, his professionalism and calmness enabled him to win over the confidence of not only our family, but most importantly, that of our six-year-old grandson. So you see, Gary was able to gain the confidence of people from ages six to 81. And I think that smile has something to do with it. His departmental honors include unit citations four times, exceptional duty three times, good conduct, and the September 2004 Hurricane Medal. During his tenure with the Sheriff's Office, I don't know how he did it, but he returned to college. He earned a bachelor's degree and a master's degree in criminal justice, both from Kaiser University. Gary excelled in every assignment he was given, but we all know there were two passions that he had, SWAT and training. He was a firearms instructor, a defensive tactics instructor, driving instructor, and first aid CPR, CPR instructor. He set lofty goals for himself, letting many of us know that one day he intended to be the head of the training for our entire agency. He saw the value of bringing new 
and innovative ideas to train all of us to increase our safety. He spearheaded the idea and worked closely with his sidekick, Joe Trevisall, to place automated external defibrillators, known as AEDs for short, throughout our entire sheriff's office. And then he took it one step further and trained us all on how to use them. Gary and Detective Trevisall made a point to bring first aid kits to all of us and then trained us on how to render first aid in cases of traumatic injuries. His ultimate goal was for each one of us to be safe. He worked enthusiastically to get us physically fit. The CrossFit class was his baby. And he would see me, he'd kind of glance at my waistline and say, Sheriff, when are you going to get into class? We would all agree that Gary possessed all the best qualities one would look for in a law enforcement officer. I always hope my deputies can make a positive impact in their community. Gary, with that infectious smile, was loved by everyone he came in contact with, and he definitely made a profound impact on our community. Few, however, get the chance to make an impact on their agencies, but Gary was one of those few. He was committed to making our agency and us better. Every member of the Sheriff's Office was touched by some phase of training that Gary had his hand in. Those of you who have recently visited our gun range have witnessed a metamorphosis from a gun range into a premier training facility. Gary played an integral part in this. As I mentioned earlier, Gary's ultimate real goal was to be the lead trainer of our agency. So today, I am naming our training facility the Sergeant Gall Gary Morales Training Complex. <laughs> I do so not only to honor Gary, but I hope that everyone trains there aspires to be as good as Gary. Every second of every minute, of every hour of every day, men and women wear the uniform and take the oath to protect and serve. The color of the uniform doesn't matter, nor does the venue of the service because they are all true heroes. They protect us from evil. They face danger every day to keep us safe. With Gary's loss, we have lost a true hero. To the Morales family, thank you for sharing food with us. It was a joy to have around We are so, so sorry for your loss. In the hours and days and weeks that follow today, God is there to comfort you and us. In the Bible, in Psalm 46, verse 1, it says, God is our refuge and strength, a very present and well-provided help in trouble. If we feel we're in trouble, that's where we need to go. I ask God bless to bless you and wrap his arms around each one of you. In addition, I want you to know that your sheriff's office family is here now and forever to help and assist you in any way possible. And to Brooklyn and Jordan, every day, your dad told us how much he loved you. Every day. He was either on the phone calling every day. And he's going to be watching over you every day. God bless you all.